Wer reitet so spät durch Nacht und Wind? Es ist der Vater mit seinem Rasenmäher. <lacht> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anik, I'm a classical pianist. And today it's time for another one minute, 10 minute, one hour challenge. <laughs> today with a special piece, which is originally a song by Franz Schubert and Franz Liszt made a transcription for a piano solo. I'm speaking about the song El König, which I hope uh, at least all my German audience already knows what we're talking about. El König is one of the most famous poems in German literature by one of the most famous poets, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Um, who is writing so late through night and wind? It's the father with his child. My son, why are you hiding your face in such terror? Father, don't you see the elf king? Blah, blah, blah. Basically through the whole poem, there's a dialogue between father and son and simultaneously the elf king is talking to the son and trying to seduce it and like using a very sweet language and like trying to, you know, welcome him in this, in this beautiful world, uh, which is, you know, death. You know, it's, it's very, very dramatic and Schubert created a wonderful song out of it. And I'm now very, very, very excited to play the solo version by Franz Liszt, which is <laughs> very, very difficult. The scores of this challenge are sponsored again by Strata Music. Thanks a lot for sponsoring. As always, you can win the scores of this challenge. Please write hashtag Elkönig or hashtag Elfking in the comments down below. And what you love about Schubert or Liszt or both of them. Now, before I get started, let's repeat the rules of this challenge. You have one minute, 10 minutes, and one hour to practice a piece that you've never played before. And after every practicing session, you have to try to perform the piece just the way it is in that moment. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. If you want to support me and this channel, please check out my Patreon. You'll find the link in the description box. And also, don't forget to check out the merch. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, as always, it's time to talk about what I was doing here. <laughs> I think one of the biggest challenges here is obviously the octave repetition. So I would like to talk a little bit about the technique here. Many people are doing the mistake that they are using their whole arm to play the repetition. By doing this, you will never achieve the highest end tempo. What you need to do is basically to keep your arm as relaxed as possible and use your wrist to do this repetition. So in the end, you should feel like you're completely relaxed through the whole repetition thing. And I always like to compare it with like a basketball that you, that you like smash on the ground and the closer you get to the ground, the faster you have to do this. And basically your hand is adjusting to the movement of the ball. You have to understand like when the key is coming up and do this thing together with the key. And this is basically the technique behind it. came to the arpeggios where the El König is starting to talk to the child. It's supposed to be like a very sweet, uh, like dolce melody and like all these arpeggios are making it very light and like coming from another world basically. When, when it comes to these arpeggios, I like to take a little bit more time to really play out these arpeggios and make them sound beautiful. It's not so much about like playing very virtuoso. I think, you know, in the end it's still a song, so it should be still singable. That is at least my interpretation, but you know. <laughs> Of course, as always, I was also working on some fingerings, especially for the arpeggios. There is a nice trick to use the third finger on the top node. I feel it's more secure compared to ending with the fifth. And also it's automatically a louder note coming out. Like you, you don't have to extra push it to make the melody come out. So I figured out that the third finger on this main melody line was uh, helping me a lot to create this singing sound. Even though, you know, in the end, like uh, one hour, as I said, is not enough to create like all the details. Anyway. <laughs> Another very difficult thing about this piece is that we have so many different voices going on and like um, different characters. And the father starts to talk to the child and ask him why he is like hiding his face. And then the child starts to talk and you know, there are so many different characters. And Schubert is putting it so beautifully into the music and now my job is to figure out how to create different voices, how to create different characters and atmospheres through different sound colors and dynamics. That was quite hard, especially because you had to continue doing these repetitions all the time and one hour is definitely not enough for that. <laughs> If you want to know which fingerings I've been using and how I was practicing through the whole time, check out my Patreon, you'll find the link in the description box. There I'm sharing all the complete versions of these challenges and also uh, the fingerings that I've been using. working a little bit with metronome to make sure that I can stabilize the tempo because Schubert, even though it's already like the start of 
romantic music, it's still classic and and I wanted to achieve like this dramatic sound and the more I can stay in tempo without like losing the drive, let's say, the easier it's going to be to sound dramatic, even though I'm sure that like after one hour <laughs> I was not able to keep the tempo complete, like in tempo. <laughs> Okay guys, this was the video for today. My arm is close to death. It's already seeing the Elf King. <laughs> Please don't leave me. <laughs> it was a tough challenge, um, but not as tough as I thought. So I would give it on a scale from one to 10, I would give it a six. Have you ever played this piece? Have you already heard it? Maybe also the original version, like the song by Schubert? Tell me in the comments down below. If you want to win the scores of today's challenge, please write hashtag Elkönig or hashtag Elfking in the comments down below and also tell me what you love about Schubert, Liszt or both of them. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. If you want to support me and this channel and if you want to get like all the fingerings and the full recording of these challenges, please check out my Patreon. You'll find the link in the description box. We will see us in the next videos. Bye. The most famous poets, uh, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, is it right? How does it write?